Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. And here we have Inter against Barcelona. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the experts hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Thanks Peter. Hello everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. Inter Milan have chosen to go 4-3-3. Yeah, and a system that relies on an industrious midfield to cover the ground. And we're on the way. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? The exciting Ivan Perisic. Uh, tall and rangy, but he has a deft touch. He's always looking to shift the ball onto that left foot too, and he packs real power with it. Gets up to head it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Well, the first attempt hasn't quite drawn first blood, but they've got a slight edge. It's Dembele. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Dembele clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Out to the flank. Looks like a good ball through. So what's he planning here? And Trevor goes for goal! Goal! Inter! And Inter go in front! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Barcelona didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Dembele, Luis Suarez, Coutinho. Big chance! It's a goal! Barcelona are back in business. Coutinho versus the keeper and only one winner. Oh, that's excellent composure because the keeper put as much pressure on as he could by not committing sooner. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. It's got through to him. Well read, he sorted that out. And it's Perisic. Looks to slip it through. Titi gets it back. Andreva was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Dembele! Nyingalan. Keita. Now it's Icardi. Played out to the right. Keita. Philippe Coutinho. And now they can launch a counter. Coutinho. And Coutinho! 
for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influencers out there. And it's Kandreva, coaxed out to the wing. Icardi. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Maro Icardi probably knew he was off, as his sheepish glance suggests. Roberto. Good ball. Coutinho shoots. Big relief. It just needed Peter. better. Con Coutinho, who has made his impact already. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Been intercepted. Rakitic spreads it wide. Well, he's got the ball glued to his feet. Messi shoots. A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Yeah, I think half time at 1 1. Barcelona get the second half going. Barcelona clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Busquets could move up a gear here. Kandreva, Asamoa, and it's Icardi. Brozovic, Quadro Asamoa with the ball through. Tried to play it through. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more. The shot's on! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Into Milan, look as though they're about to make a change. Roberto plays it forward. Coutinho, Messi looks to clip it forward. And that's been one straight back. He's gone for it! To back up his, his high-class wage. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated. No, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Barcelona opting to make a double change here. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And it's Perisic. Going through. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. That's been leave it clear. The referee has seen that as a dive. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but... And the shot goal Barcelona and the comeback is complete oh beautifully dispatched there was no reaching that well you know sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things just put your foot through it and that was a good example great contact and the keeper had very little chance Barcelona go into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Tries a through ball, played back in. Vidal, can he find a finish? Has a pop! Oh, wonderful, wonderful Lionel Messi! A 
And surely that does it! Perfect time! Decisive strike! Handanovic reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Barcelona, two up and into a position of real strength. Piquet. Vidal. Now the pass. That's a decent ball. Messi! And that for not converting. He could have killed it off. They've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Borja Valero spreads it towards the left. Can he put it away? Vidal. Aimed long and direct. The final whistle. Barcelona have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding...